Hi, this is Seth David from NerdEnterprises.com, and today we're talking about Microsoft Excel. You may have seen me do a number of webcasts on Excel over the past couple of years, and in those webcasts you've seen lots of spreadsheets from ones that look pretty simple like this to a little credit card summary. Here is our inventory sample template that we use in our most popular video on YouTube. And this, of course, is the log that I keep of all of our webcasts, at least the ones that are out there on the web. There are many more than this that I never even put out there. And you might have even seen this one if you've purchased our forecasting your QuickBooks statements in Excel. So there are a lot of spreadsheets we've done, but you also may be one of those people who simply looks at a blank spreadsheet like this and gives it a blank stare wondering what are all these little boxes and we do have a full length tutorial on that but I thought I would bring you a two to three minute presentation here to get you acquainted with what Microsoft Excel is really all about and it's true it's basically a spreadsheet is made up of many of these little boxes and each of these boxes is pretty much like a home address and it has an address that goes with it as you can see here my cell pointer is in column A row 1 and therefore its address is A1 so the address is always denoted by the column letter and the row number and basically each of these cells is what they're called can house information it can hold something in it it can hold text it can hold numbers and it can hold a formula which does a calculation so if I have one here and two there I can type an equal sign and I can say sum open parentheses and I can even use my mouse at this point to click and drag and tell Excel what do I want to total and of course the beauty of that is once that's done I can format it and I can change these numbers I can change this to a five and I get a new total I can change this to a six and I get a new total when I used to work as an auditor um, one of the complaints I had in my office was nobody used Excel and everything we did was calculation based and they did their work papers on on Word documents and I said so if you make a mistake and you have to change a number and it's a complicated calculation that flows from one place to the next then you have to go back and recalculate the whole thing every step of the way whereas with Microsoft Excel if I need to make one change I simply change a number and all of my totals and any related calculations update automatically and almost instantly Excel is a great place to keep lists. One example here, and now of course we have much more sophisticated programs that do this, but I could have name, address, uh, that would be the street address, city, state, zip, and a lot of times I do still keep uh, sort of temporary lists in a format like this, especially if I do a live webinar and I'm gathering registrations. I will have registration date if I can type that helps typing helps it's, it's good to know how to type when you're working in Excel so this is a great place to keep lists of various types you can format things uh, in Excel 2007 you have some nice presets here in terms of formatting so I can come over here and let me just widen these columns up I made them a little too small here and I can come over here and I can take these titles let's say and format them and there are words in here in the presets that give you an example of what they might be intended for but that doesn't mean that's what you have to use it for this is output meaning it's supposed to show me where uh, the results of a calculation appears but I can just use it because I like the way it looks for my headers and I can start listing names street addresses and so on so Excel is a great place to organize and manage information such as what you see here this is basically a spreadsheet I've got on the web that you can download for free and you put in your interest rate on a credit card you put in your balance and you put in what your monthly payment is or what you're going to pay each month and it basically shows you when you get it paid off between now and 2013 I started this back in October of 09 so Give us a call. Get in touch with us, nerdenterprises.com. Also now working with Make It Work for your IT needs. Give us a call and let us know if you have any questions. My email is seth at nerdenterprises.com.